As many Americans fight for scarce employment, winning the job may come down to personality, not experience. Personality tests or talent assessments have been used for well over a decade, but as employers weed through scores of applicants, the tests have become a prized tool in hiring, says Kelly Crowfoot at Profiles International. For most companies, their investment of people is 40 to 60 percent of their budget, the money they spend every year. So it's a highly critical decision. And when the hiring slows down, you get to hire fewer people. So each decision is even more critical. Taken online at home or at a facility, commonly used tests include caliper profile, DISC, 16 personality factor, and the California Psychological Inventory. They vary, but all are designed to measure soft skills, like honesty or the ability to handle tough situations. According to one industry study, 47% of U.S. companies ranging from Marriott to JetBlue use them. And firms using such tests cut hiring costs by 14% in 2009. Critics like Donna Flagg, author and president of consulting firm Chrysalis, warn personality tests may not be accurate. And the problem is that the tests themselves measure cognitive knowledge. So you're, you're answering questions based on what you think or feel at any given time. And the workforce is based on what people are able to do. It's a more of a behavioral exercise. And she says they're overused. I think if you've got a very strong manager or a very strong uh, interviewing process, that it can be supplemental. My fear is that too much weight goes onto the test because we're a testing society. Supporters say their accuracy can be validated and they're only one tool. We always say, uh, for our business, we say never let it be more than one third of your decision. And I think uh, most companies position it that way. If we find somebody that's just based on the assessment, they're making a mistake. Amid the rocky jobs market, more employers may be using such tests. Over 20% surveyed say they don't use them now, but plan to use them in the near future. Jeannie Yerman, Reuters.